friends too, we're gonna draw a heart. Yeah, we thought it would be fun to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, because it's coming up, by drawing a Celtic musical instrument, which is a harp. Yeah. How many strings does a harp have? 47. 47. I don't think we'll draw all 47, yeah. but we'll draw a few. Mm -hmm. We hope you're going to follow along. You need something to draw with. We're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You also need some paper and stone and colors. Yeah, and because we're drawing and coloring with markers, we're also using marker paper to draw on. That helps keep the markers lasting longer so they don't dry out too fast. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw the left side of our harp, or we're also gonna draw the inside of the harp first. So let's draw a shape like this, a curve that comes down. We're gonna curve out to the left and then back in. Yeah, and then we're gonna start up here and we're gonna draw another curve. Let's go past and then we'll connect. Then we're gonna curve back up and then we can curve back down. So we got this really cool S curve. There you go. Nice. And then on this side, we're gonna draw a diagonal line that just comes straight down to the left and connects here. Nice. This is the inside shape of our harp. Now let's draw the outside shape. And you can also add extra details to your harp. You can really design it and add cool things. But we're going to draw the general shape first. So we'll start up here and I'm going to draw another curve that starts close but then watch this at the bottom. I'm going to get further away. Well, yeah, just a little further away. I was planning to do it a, a lot further away but that's okay. <laughs> we're practicing, right? Yeah. Oh, and I like that. I like how thick it got down at the bottom. <laughs> And now we can draw this line right here. I'm going to connect it there. There you go. And then here, I'm going to draw a curve like this. I'm going to curve around and then I'm going to come back up here. And see how I'm getting closer here too. Yeah. And then right here, I'll connect those two lines together. And then let's draw a short line here also. And then we're gonna draw another S curve that matches this, but I'm gonna start further away and then get a little closer. And then right here, I'm gonna curve in to finish the harp shape. Good job, Austin, that looks awesome. Now what are we missing on our harp? The strings. Yeah, the strings. Let's start here and we're gonna draw straight lines down. So I'm gonna pull the line straight towards me like that. And I went a little past on the top and the bottom. There you go. Nice. And then we're gonna repeat that step. I'm gonna to try to draw it really close, but parallel. So it doesn't get closer or further away. And if you wanted to, you could use a ruler for this step. We're just gonna try to draw the lines as straight as possible without a ruler. I think that's fun to practice. And then we're gonna keep drawing the lines all the way across our harp. Oh, we might draw more than 47. Nah, <laughs> I think we're gonna draw a lot less. There we go, I'm gonna keep going. We can even speed this part of the video up. So remember to pause the video and take extra time to draw the strings on your harp. We're gonna go all the way up here and maybe stop right in here somewhere. That's perfect. I love how our two drawings don't look exactly the same, but they both turn out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings look different too, because the most important thing is- To have fun. And to- Practice. Practice. Now we're not completely done with our drawings. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward again, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. Although we are just gonna color it gold or yellow. But also, we should add more designs. We could also add some four-leaf clovers or other Irish decorations. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome. 
Awesome, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our harps and they turned out super cool. I especially love all of the designs that you added to yours. Thank you. You can pause the video right now to match our same coloring and even add extra things to the background. I love the four leaf and the three leaf clovers and also the green hearts. You can add whatever you want to your drawing. Yeah, and also we use markers to draw and color with, but remember you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You can use colored pencils, crayons, or even oil pastels. We used our Art for Kids Hub markers. If you had the same set, the colors that we used, well, we used two greens, 46 and 59. 46 is the darker green and 59 is the lighter green. Then we also used a yellow color. What number is that? 35. Yeah, and we also used an orange color, 301, for the designs. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your heart. We do, and we hope you take extra time to color and add more things to your drawings. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.